Hi, it's John. It's the 20th of March, and I think it's about time I did an update on the seeds. It doesn't take long before you get totally overwhelmed by seedlings. So I've got two incubators on the go. And then various pots here. These are cucumbers, doing reasonably well. Not too leggy, but when they go into bigger pots, I can plant them down a bit. Lettuce that I've put in these little boxes. Tomatoes, they're legend. And there's another six over there, legend. And... Those are some fur line that I've just taken out of the incubator. And fur line are a blight resistant tomato. And I did have some that I bought off of eBay, but I wasn't sure of their, their qualities. But these are Thompson and Morgan ones. And every single seed is germinated so that's 12 and then there's two in some so that's 14 can't remember how many it promised on the packet it was either 10 or 15 but I've got 14 there more lettuces and these are lettuces that I haven't pricked out yet the red basil that was funny because the whole pot was full of red basil and they all damped off except these four, and they've decided to grow. Spinach, so, you know, some's grown ages ago, or about a week or so ago, and some's just coming up. So, um, there'll be a little bit of spinach there. Let's have a look in the incubator, or the propagator. So these are peppers, and these are chocolate-coloured peppers. Not many of the peppers came up, but they've come up. And I can't remember what tomatoes these were, but they were either legend or fur line, and they were the poor ones in the pot. Uh, but I decided to pot them up. <coughs> melons. Now these are saved seed melons. Cantaloupe. From a cantaloupe melon that I just so well they're going to be, I don't know. And California Wonder re sown some more of those peppers. Something coming up that was from what the soil was before, so I've reused the soil where no seeds came up. And more cucumbers here, and unfortunately, I've clipped that in the propagator and the tops come off. Here, I'll put these out in the um, the main light so as they don't get too leggy. Now I'm up in the bedroom now and I'm on the bedroom windowsill. Now these are getting a more even temperature and even light because you know the bedroom keeps reasonably warm at night because there's bodies in here. So these are the eBay fur line. Dahlia yams and cabbage. I'm quite chuffed with these greens because normally I have great trouble with them all damping off. These are Chinese Chinese cabbage, so they won't pricking out pretty soon. And more cabbage here and cauliflowers. So they're just getting their true leaves now. So um, I probably might. Uh, prick some of these out over the weekend. Now I'm outside and in these pots I've planted elephant garlic cloves and I've put them in long pots so that they've got room to grow and then obviously I'll put them in the ground when they've come up a bit. Now what's quite exciting is one has started to grow now I have grown these in the past, there's a the little head there look, and um, 
not been really successful, but I'm hoping to get a good crop here. Got a lot of sycamore trees coming up all over the place. Get those little whirly gigs coming down and planting all over the place. So, elephant garlic. Right, so I'll say bye for now.